Hey guys, it's Rick. Welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to kick off a new series called Colorful Moments where we are going to create vibrant cards using our stash. So I'm going to use the new Stow My Heart stamp set from Penny Black, the Immense Love die from Penny Black. I'm going to use my Distress inks to do some watercoloring. So I'm going to show you all those and then I'm going to stamp in archival um, watering can ink and I'm going to do that first. I've picked out my little bears. I'm going to use the one with the balloons and I'm going to stamp that down. I'm going to end up stamping it twice on some watercolor paper. I'm using Canson XL watercolor paper for that. And I'm going to stamp that down and get a nice good impression the second time. And I can remove that and we're going to start our watercolor. I'm going to start off with my lightest color of distress ink and I picked um so I'm going to start off with some worn lipstick and I'm putting it in the lightest area of uh, the darkest area first. And I'm going to blend that out with just some a damp brush. That means I've taken it and cleaned off my brush and patted it off on a paper towel that I have off on the side. And I'm just going to blend that out to my lightest area. And then I'm going to add just a little bit more around the edges. And this is a kind of a quick video. I am going to show you the full coloring process of the bear in this, one of them, and I'm going to show you the balloon heart. So now I'm going to come in with abandoned coral, and I'm going to do that same process. I'm going to add it in the darkest area first after I get this hair out of my paint. <laughs> There's always a hair somewhere. So I'm going to add that to the abandoned coral in my where I want it to be the darkest, and these Worn lipstick will show underneath some, as so will our next color. So I'm putting that where I want the darkest, underneath the little bear at the top, and I'm going to blend that out with some just some damp, a damp brush with clean water. And this is the easiest way to watercolor, um, in case you're wondering. And by the way, I will be teaching a watercoloring class for Wendy Cranford in her... Um, Creative Vault next month. I do have a, currently I have a um, alcohol marker class up in her, in there. If you are interested, you can join the Creative Vault and you can get both of those classes as part of it. Plus you can get any of the other classes that are in there. It's a great value. All right. So now I'm going to come in with Candied Apple and I'm adding that at the darkest parts and we're going to blend that out with just some clean water after we get it all applied under his little hand under his little body around the heart just a little bit i'm gonna see so you can see i dab that off paper towel off uh, my brush off on the paper towel if i could talk y'all we would be doing something so we're going to blend that out and i'm leaving that other color underneath you can distress inks are made to work with water so they are translucent just like your regular watercolors are. We're going to add a second layer just to intensify that candied apple a little bit. I wanted it just a little bit brighter. I did dry in between. So we're going to blend that out. And then we're going to start to work on our bear. Isn't that heart just pretty? All right, I'm going to color. Oh, I forgot. I'm going to color the rose. And I just could use candied apple for that. And I'm just going to blend it out just a little bit. There's not a lot of detail. And by the way, I'm using a Princeton Heritage Round Number 6 brush for this. And I'm going to add a little peel paint to the stem. Now we're going to come in with our bear. And I'm starting off in his little muzzle. And I'm using Tattered Rose. And I've put that where I wanted it the darkest. And I'm going to blend that out. I'm going to add just a little bit more color to it. And then we're going to come in, add a little bit to his ear. Blend that, and then I'm going to come in with Vintage Photo Brush Corduroy and a little, oh, we're doing the other bear's muzzle first. Sorry, I forgot. All right, here we go. Now we're going to use the Vintage Photo first and Brush Corduroy and a little Scorched Timber in my darkest shadow part. So we're going to start off. All the bear, the both bears are done the same. I just layered the colors up a little bit different and it changes the way it looks. I'm starting off here with Vintage Photo and I'm going to blend that out. We're, we're just going to go where we want it to darkest and we're going to blend it out. 
into the other parts and then we will dry each layer in between so that it has a nice good transition and I'm going to do his little ear the what's left and the other side of his ear and blend that out I am working on dry paper so I'm just putting in my shadows first and then pulling that out Just like here. But I do like to give it a couple different layers of color because it just makes it a little bit more vibrant. If I had if I'd use re-inkers, it'd probably be a lot easier. But I don't I haven't bought the re-inkers for this. Now I'm coming in with my brush corduroy and adding a second layer or a first layer over my where my shadows are. And blending those out. You can see from there and the from that and the top what a difference that it is. Now I'm adding a little scorched timber because I want that to be a lot darker. His little paw back there is going to be underneath his head, so it's going to be a lot darker than the other paw that we are painting on right now because it's a little bit bright. It's going to be more in light. And we're going to add our brush corduroy, blend that out. I'm going to take the little stitching on his little teddy bear head. I don't know. I just think these stamps are so cute. <laughs> I had to have them. And this is part of their Penny Black's new release. So you can head over there or head to scrapbook.com and pick them up. I did look earlier and saw that they were in stock. They might not be in stock for long, but they always restock stuff usually. So, All right, I'm going to add a little um, abandoned coral to the ear to give it a little bit more pinkish. And then I'm going to go back in and add a little bit more color to his muzzle. And I'm not worrying about the nose yet because I will come back and do that something of that later. I'm going to add a little bit of rosy cheek to him. And then I'm going to go and color the second bear the same. I'm going to darken up the eyes. I am going to come back and um, change that. I'm going to add a little bit more detail to their eyes as we're a little bit. And we're going to add a little bit more blush to their cheeks. And then I'm going to add a little, I forgot to add my darkest shadow under his little arm right here. So I'm coming back adding a little bit more color and wet, wetting it and putting in my Scorched Timber, which is the newest distressed, the newest and last supposedly. Um, or actually, as Kim Holt said, it is the last distress color. So is that now I've got my immense love dye. I have cut this out three times from regular cardstock and once from watercolor cardstock and I have stacked them up. And I'm just coming in with Candied Apple Distress Ink, and I'm painting that to match what I my rest of my card. So I'm just going to paint that real quick, just using a just water or distressed Candied Apple Distressed Ink as watercolor. If I could talk today, y'all, we would be cooking with grease. So there's we're going to do that. I um, hope y'all are having a wonderful day. We are sitting in, Charles is in the house doing something, I don't know, I'm out here working on this card, trying to get this video done for y'all. So here's that, and we are going to let set this aside and let it dry after we get a nice and even coat on there. There we go. Now I'm going to come in. I've got everything dry. I am going to come in and with some Toffee Crunch ink and a foam blending tool. And I'm going to ink around the edges just to make it nice and cohesive. And it kind of helps to blend the colors anywhere there was splotchiness. It kind of helps blend that color in a little bit. So I'm going to do that. And I fussy cut the both images. And I'm going to go around the edge of the um, colored images with my Toffee Crunch ink. And just it helps to give them a nice seamless look and hide any imperfections that I'm from my fussy cutting. I got to be really careful around that rose because I did cut it out. Uh, I don't know what I was thinking. All right, now I have a piece of the garden botanical garden pattern paper from Cartabella. I've cut it down to be a A2 card front size, and I'm just taking some abandoned coral and inking around the edge to distress it a little bit. Now I'm going to come back in with that same stamp from the stamp set. And I'm going to line, make sure I'm going to take my large word, line it up where I want it to be, and line my stamps up. So I want him to peek through the little O. 
and I'm going to stamp that with some Memento Tuxedo Black ink. You could use any black ink for this. I chose the Memento because it was close. I'm going to just stamp that down. This is how I'm going to cheat and get my little string <laughs> for my little balloon. And I'm going to take my cut pieces and I'm going to add some Barely Art glue behind that. And I'm going to start placing these in their respected areas. So we're going to pop a little bag down. Now, just popping that down right there, you can see how much this card pops already. So, there is a lot of ways that we are going to do some colorful, bright, vibrant color cards in this series. And I hope y'all join me the entire time. So we're going to place our second little bear down. And now he's back holding his little string of the balloon. And I can take and glue down my immense love die cut. So I'm going to add some liquid glue to that. And we are going to place him right on where we wanted it. And now I'm going to take and, excuse me, stamp my sub-sentiment from the set. And it says, you stole my heart. So the entire sentiment will be, and this is just the reverse side of that same pattern paper. It will be, love, you stole my heart. It's a great little Valentine's card or a wedding card or whatever. I'm going to heat emboss that with some clear embossing ink. I did stamp it with my... um. Versafine on its black ink. So I've heat set that now and I've cut it out. And I'm going to take my card front and add some adhesive to the back. And I'm going to place it on my top, on my A2 card base. And see, we're going to get that nice and lined up before I stick it down. Make sure there's no adhesive sticking out. Now that's all nice and pretty. Now we're going to come in and add our sub sentiment. And I've popped that up on a little foam tape. I'm going to add a little bar barely art glue underneath. I'm going to take my T square ruler and get it lined up so it is not my sub sentiment is nice and straight. And then I'm going to come in with my Signo white gel pen and add a few highlights because we got to have some detail. This just helps those images pop a little bit more also. And it ties everything together. Everything's got a little highlight. Everything's better with a little highlight. Lord knows you can need some hair, highlights in our hair. All right. Now we're going to come in with a black glaze pen. And I'm going to darken their eyes up and their little noses. This actually makes it stand their nose and eyes stand out a little bit more. I did come back in and add a little white highlight when it was dry to their eyes. And we're going to darken up the little mouth. And that, my friends, finishes our card. This is the card for today. I hope that you like this video. Give it a thumbs up. And if you like this video, you're probably going to like this one coming up right here. And here's a look at the card. I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys. Love you.